All right, welcome back to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And today we're gonna to take a look at denoise. So my daughter's dog was sitting in the dark and I grabbed my camera and I jacked up the ISO to 12,800. And she was very unhappy about me taking her picture, but I did anyways. And we've got a pretty noisy image, especially in the background. So we're gonna say, hey, does this new AI noise work better? or work worse than the old versions. Let's dive right in. So I've got a little uh, comp to look at it and make it easier, but let me show you how this works. It's really, really easy. And there's a couple of other things on there if you haven't used it before, but Let's take a look. So if we go into the develop module inside of Lightroom and we scroll down here to detail and we slide down in detail, you'll see there's a little denoise now. Our old version, basically we would just take the luminance value and slide that to the right. And by sliding that to the right, it would reduce noise. So does this new AI denoise Work better or the same, let's take a look. What you need to do when you do this is just simply click denoise. It's going to load some data. When you get this, by default, the denoise is gonna be ticked. We're just gonna use this 50%, but this shows you how it's gonna look. Look, you can scroll around, you can see, wow, that's amazing. Really smooth that out. Now, the problem with noise programs are, if you do them too much, they soften your image and it looks like crap. We're gonna leave it at its 50%, which is way more than I've ever done. Usually on the slider over here, I only go over about 20 because after 20, it starts to really soften your image and it doesn't look any good. But in this test, I did slide this over to 50. So we had some sort of comparison. Does that equal 50? I don't have a clue. We also in here, if we uncheck denoise, now down here we have raw details in which it will enhance the details of the image. We don't wanna do that. And then we have the super resolution and super resolution will double the resolution of your image and then we know that works really well. Today we're just gonna be taking a look at denoise. So let's go ahead and click that and you're gonna hit enhance. When you do this, just like super resolution, it's gonna create a duplicate and it's gonna be in a DNG format. DNG is Adobe's raw format. So we can see right here that this is, look right here, this is a enhanced noise reduction DNG. So this is our finished version, and then we could send this over to Photoshop or if we're just working in Lightroom, we can work in Lightroom. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna flop on over to Adobe Photoshop and take a look at this. So I've created this little file and look, I know it can be a little bit difficult on a video feed to see the detail or the resolution. I will zoom in for this as well, but you're gonna have to go on what I say if you can't see the difference. So the first one is 12,800 and I tried to crop in exactly the same for each one of these. And this is with no noise reduction. You can see is really nasty back here. And then in the second one, this is the luminosity. So I use the old version of that luminosity slider and I slid that over and look, it did a pretty good job of removing the noise. It's way more than I did, but it did what I don't like, which is it blurred the whole image and it looks like crap. The next one is the new denoise at 50% and we still have that 12,000 ISO. This is each one of these is exactly the same image. And you can see, look at the detail and resolution lost here, but we're capped here, but it really removed the noise up there. So let's zoom in a little bit and see what it looks like. Image number one, that's pretty bad, all right? We can see some grain in here. It's not horrible, so let's slide this over. You can still see. Yeah, it smoothed it, but it really looks like it really blurred it. And what I see are just kind of the green and magenta uh, lines and patterns and colors that we see in here and it's fringing on the edge and it's completely blurred all the details here. So let's slide down here. Look how neutral that color is compared to this where we've got green and magenta everywhere. 
wonderful. The cool thing is it might have taken a little bit of the detail here, but it's kept most of the detail and it's done a really good job throughout the image removing that noise. So yeah, this looks a whole lot better than the old noise reduction. So this is one of those features that Adobe has added and done a really good job at getting it to work exactly how we want to. So I'm gonna give a thumbs up to the denoise. This is something that I'm going to be using instead of the old version inside of both Lightroom and Adobe Gamma Raw. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.